This is a short video on how to replace a broken rudder cable on a topwater PDL or a Predator with easy to get parts from a hardware store. Also, at the end of the video, a short section on how to build a longer lever for the PDL steering, uh, one that you can use when you're dealing with high winds. So I wasn't planning on making this video, but my rudder cable broke in the middle of a tournament and I thought this might help someone else out. The rudder steering cable from Old Town is inexpensive. It's only $8. So I'm going to buy two, so I have one on hand. But until that comes in, I still wanted to use my kayak. So I went uh, down to one of the big box home stores. I got 12 feet of 1 16th inch thick stainless steel cable and two packs of ferrules that you use to terminate the ends of the cables. Altogether, it was around um, $7 for that. Now to remove the cable, go ahead and pull the four screws out that are around the steering control knob. Then you can remove the steering control and you'll see the cable attachment point. Then it's just a matter of removing one screw and the cable's going to come free. This is what the cable looks like when the steering control is pulled out of the way. That piece of metal, that's the ferrule that's crimped onto the cable. Go ahead and cut off the end of the cable that's still intact and then you'll be able to pull the cable out of the kayak. So to set up the new cable, go ahead and thread one of the ferrules all the way to the middle of the 12 foot cable, then go ahead and crimp it in place. Now you can insert the cable into the kayak. I would wrap the ends with a piece of cellophane tape first though, and that'll help them slide into the cable jackets easier. You're gonna to have to kind of feel uh, for how it goes in. I just put the end on, of the cable on my finger and um, you kind of guide it into that cable jacket so you can't really see what's going on there you just kind of have to feel it uh, but once you get it inserted uh, that slides in really easily now you can attach the cable to the steering control knob then set the steering control back into the kayak in the straight forward position then you can run the cables through the uh, cable adjusters on the rudder and i went ahead and i loosened up the cable adjusters a little bit just so that uh, once the cables are in place, I could tighten them back up and take any slack out of the cable. So I threaded two ferrules on first that would just basically act as a spacer. And then for the last ferrule that I put on, I used uh, one of these longer ones that lets you double the uh, cable back in. So I made a loop, came back into the ferrule and pulled that tight. And then I clamped that ferrule down. I like the rudder control on the top water. Normally it's pretty smooth and responsive. In fact, I've been pretty surprised at how little I actually use the paddle, even in tight areas. But when I'm traveling with a really strong wind in my back, the following the waves and the force of the wind trying to push the back of the boat sideways can make it pretty hard to keep the rudder in the position I want. So I came up with a detachable handle that I can use in these situations. It gives a lot more leverage to control the rudder and slips on and off pretty easily. So to make this, I used an inexpensive quarter inch thick cutting board and traced the steering lever outline onto it. Then I just used a jigsaw to cut the hole in the cutting board material. And here's a video section of how the steering control goes back together. So the emblem itself that sits on top, the top water emblem, that's just a sticker. As long as you keep it clean after you peel it off, it uh, reapplies no problem. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below in the comments section, where I'll also include a list of materials. If you find these videos useful, please subscribe. I plan to do some more soon on an inexpensive LED light system and an electric trolling motor system.